it. Hello, good evening, everybody. Welcome to what is it? Tuesday, Tuesday evening, and I have a jewelry jar to unbox or in jar tonight. Um, we've had we were supposed to get snow today. The boys were all ready for snow, and it never snowed. Um, but apparently, we're having another snow snow day tomorrow. So maybe, maybe we'll get a snow day. But but we're not here to talk about snow, are we? We're here to talk about jewelry. So I have a jar here. Um, the last time I went out, I found six jars at a Goodwill that I don't normally go to. I ventured out of my area and found six jars. Most of them were $19.99. One was $29.99, which is the first one I unjarred. Sorry. Um, so yeah, uh, this one on initial glance, sorry, there's something tickling my nose. On, on first glance, you might look at it and say, there's a lot of those little, like little girl bracelets, those little tinny kind of bracelets in there that might throw you um, into not wanting to get it. Because my number one rule as far as getting jewelry jars is I have to pay for it. I have to find something in the jar that will pay for the jar when I sell it. So there is in this one, oh gosh, where did they go? I shook the jar and now I can't, oh, there it is. Okay, good. So when I look through the jar, I look, you know, top to bottom. I look through every single thing. And at $19.99, really? I mean, you only have to find two things that sell for 10 or 15 bucks to really get your money back. So one of the things that caught my eye was right here. And if you see what I see right here, this is whatever it is, it's an orchid. And orchid people are crazy for orchids, and they're crazy for orchid everything. And they're willing to pay. And usually, orchid people ha have money. I know that's a generalization, but if you're really into orchids, it can be a really pricey hobby. So if you find stuff with orchids, whether it's jewelry or, or something else, orchid people will pay. So there's that. So that was my number one thing. Hey, in the chat, I am live. So hey, hey, everybody. But then also, what else did I see? Okay, so I saw these, I don't know if you can see them, on this card, this white card, there are these post earrings. I can't see the front of them, but the backs of them, now this is not always the case, but I look for earrings that have a, a gold post on them, right? I don't know if you can see that the posts on those are gold in the back, you know. Um, it's not always the case, but if they are gold earrings, generally, the post part will be gold too. So that's one of those I'm crossing my fingers. It might be gold. Then there was one other thing that I saw. Where did it go? Was it one of the one? I was going between two jars tonight trying to decide which one to do. And one of them had like a leather cord. Maybe it was the other one. One of them had like a braided leather cord. Or maybe it was the other one. Okay, we'll dig into this one. Okay, let's see. Um, I'm looking in the chat. Oh, oh, frugal gal's waiting to see if she wins a brooch and pin auction lot in the next five minutes. Got a jelly belly brooch, all right? Yay! Oh, good, good, good. Yeah, this can be really, they can go for some good money. I've never found a jelly belly. I would love to. Hello, hello, Debs. Thanks for catching me live. Oh, thanks, Maggie. This was, this is my, I was in my um, sweats all day because the kids had a snow day and it was cold and, and whatnot. So I was like, I got to do something with this hair. So yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we had a sleety day, sleety day. Okay. Okay. Yes, I am. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So let's bust into this. Let's do it. All right. And I, okay. I had scissors over here. There they are. Okay. The kids had my scissors because we've been studying arrowheads in the history of arrowheads and archaeology and blah, blah, blah. And so the kids have been wire wrapping. Let me find one. <laughs> well, let's find a different one. They've been doing wire wrapped arrowheads, like for fun. Um, <clears throat> so they they stole my scissors, which is why scissors are something I always buy at garage sales. What is a jelly belly? Um, Lydia, a jelly belly is a kind of usually it's a brooch, right? Um, Trifari originated it. I did a whole video too. Um, and it's like a, like a cabochon, you, it's an animal like brooch and then like the belly part on it will be this carb cabochon 
belly, you know? I don't know how to describe it better than that at the moment. Um, hello, hello. Yeah, schools were closed, and they're actually going to be closed again tomorrow because it's Houston, and we never get this kind of weather. It doesn't. It's it's kind of nuts that it's happened three times already this year, or in the this season rather. Um, okay, I'm trying to not cut myself, but also get this thing open. Um, thanks for asking, Yar. Spirits are good. Um, yeah. <laughs> anyway, if you caught the one of my last videos, my husband lost his job, and so we're he's on the job hunt, and we're chins up, right? Chins up. Ever been to the Jelly Belly? Oh boy, what I would love to go to the act like Jelly Belly Jelly Beans. Yum. Okay, okay. Let's jump into this this jar. I've got my jar. I finally cut it open, and I pulled out this bracelet. This is. Okay, at first when I saw this, I thought, okay, this is just like one of those bracelets that, you know, plasticky, loose id kind of bracelet. But look at it. Watch. It's to either somebody melted it or it's weirdly asymmetrical. I don't know. That's, I think that that's a selling point on it. I, look, it's so different, right? It's not just a straight up, I mean, look, this side is way thicker. And then this side is thinner. So strange, right? Yeah, okay. I don't see any kind of marking in it. Um, but overall, other than it being a little sticky from the tape being on it, this one, I may try to sell this. I would say for at least 15 or 17 bucks. Look at that. It's so different. Okay, let's set that to the side. Next up, thanks, Mariposa's gifts. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, He's, he's in good spirits. This is unusual. Okay. This, okay, first of all, look, apologies if you hear stuff in the background. Families are, I had to do it when I could do it, right? Like a snake, twisty, right, Julie? Yeah. Okay, so this, I would have normally, it's too, look it, it's too big to be a bracelet. It's way too small to be a, a choker. Would you say this is a, I mean, come on, you wouldn't wear this as an anklet. We've, we've had this discussion before where we talked about dog jewelry. Do you think that this could be like one of those, like a dog jewelry brace necklace? I don't even know. Uh, I don't even know. Unless it was messed up and somebody repurposed it. That's kind of a doll necklace maybe. It's super small. Uh, yeah, I don't know. That's a big question mark on that one. It could be, but could you imagine? That's really, okay, there's my magnet. That's really chunky <laughs> to wear around your ankle. But hey, hello, hello. Okay, next up, we've got this bright, it's kind of like pinky orange bangle. That's really cool. I like that. That was my tub to drop stuff in. Okay, then... We have this gold, I'm guessing gold tone bracelet in a plastic bag. The reason I think it's gold tone is because it's in a plastic bag. So just for funsies, let's take our magnet to it and see if it pull, it's not pulling to the magnet, but do I think it's gold? It's in a plastic bag. It, yeah. I mean, it's probably, yeah, no. It doesn't even, it doesn't feel like gold, but it's really cute. It's got a nice look to it. You know, I like it. <laughs> but yeah, so really cute, gold tone. It's probably something that's got a like gold wash over it. It's so cool, so cool. Uh, boot jewelry, oh yeah, that might be it. I don't know, maybe. <laughs> I'd like to see the lady or fella. You know. Okay, next up, we have got this leather, small leather cord braided bracelet, which is cool. Looks like so. You're thinking boot jewelry too, thanks. Okay, and it's got like this this hook style. That's really small too, but it's nice. Listen, if you, I don't know if you can hear that. It's got that nice leathery, twisty sound. I like it. Oh my gosh. Look at, I don't need, 
to like put on some jewelry that I, I'm finding in this jewelry jar. This is the last thing I need to do right now. But I'm doing it. Anyway, hang on, hang on. It'll be, okay, no, just move on, move on. Okay, so I like that. It'll fit me. And I like the hook on it. I do. Because it has that kind of like artisan wrapped look. And they put the little detailing on the end of the hook with a little S curly Q up on it. I don't know. I'm going to just put that to the side. Hello, hello. <laughs> just one boot, yeah. Okay. Then we've got some stackable bracelets like so. You guys have snow? Oh, wait. Is that my? I'm not going to look. Uh, I sell my jewelry jars in my booth. Oh yeah, I I totally I, yeah I totally love the jewelry jars. Hang on, I'm gonna reach down and grab this tub. So I've got I've been putting the jewelry on my little table next to me, but I need something to stick it in. Um, <laughs> okay, this is in the last jewelry drawer I bought. Everything was tangled up. It took me two hours to untangle it. Did I ever reach this? Okay, I did. I did. It was not gold. So if you watched my last jar. There was a cross, a crucifix in it that was marked 14K, and it was kind of questionable because it did kind of look brassy. But you know, if something's marked and it's not magnetic, then what are we gonna? What am I gonna do? I'm gonna test it. So I definitely tested it, and you know, it was not. That's okay. I mean, that's what the jeweler always tells me is that stamps are cheap. So if they feel like they can stamp it and and get one over on the it wasn't, it wasn't, isn't that a bummer? But I think, I still think it's cool and there were still some really cool pieces in that jar. So I wasn't, I wasn't too disappointed. Ah, oh, okay. Got an earring over here. I hope the mate is in this one. But again, I bought um, six jars. So if the mate for this earring isn't up in this one, it may be in one of the other ones. Just look, isn't that gorgeous? It looks like all the beads are there and everything. So I really hope the, look at that. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I really hope that the maid is here somewhere. Uh, snow and no furnace. Gracious. Furnaces scare me, but I'm in Texas, so we really don't have furnaces. Okay, um, I've got some tangles coming. I'm gonna have to pull some things out because it's kind of tangled. Wasn't able to chat. Was the bracelet in the bag Omega? I didn't see any kind of mark on it, Deb. Let me see. Yeah, there's no mark on it that I can see. So I'll, I'll look a little closer. Hang on. I'm going to dump this because I can't get into it. All the cords and chains are kind of tangling up. Uh, okay. I'm trying to get at least some of it out so I can share with you. Okay, okay. All right, so next up, there's this beaded necklace. This is actually kind of pretty. So these are glass, these kind of white and green beads. They almost look like handmade because they're very different. I don't know. So I'll have to look at them a little bit closer. But I think because it's so unique, I probably will sell this on its own. I don't know. I think so. Hang on, my foot's falling asleep under me. Oh my, over 20 inches of snow. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> Kayla says, no matter what, if I can't find any of the matches to the earrings, I keep them in case I find them later. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, yay, frugal cow. <laughs> she won the lot of brooches. If you're, you're out, if you're watching later, you're not here, so you don't see. Yay, congrats. All right, so we've got these cool really blingy hoop earrings. They're really blingy. I mean, I, I honestly, it's one of those that I'm like, I may challenge myself to sell these because they are really big and really blingy. Somebody's going to love them. Somebody. Oh, that's got to oh, help the mate. There are some really cool earrings here that I really hope the mates here on them. Okay, that's cool. This one is kind of like cascading I don't even know, crescents and little mother of pearl discs. It looks, no, no, it's not. There's three there, three there. It's symmetrical. Oh, that's cool. Okay, that, that I won't have any problem selling. 
So this one I'll probably put up in that $17.99 range. That's really cool. Let's see. Okay, then we have, oh, this is pretty. Okay, that's pretty. All right, so we've got this. And sometimes like stretchy bracelets are, they just kind of feel cheap or look cheap, but this one's kind of nice. So it's got this rose gold panel that's got these little red crystals set in it. And then it's got all these red beads that go around, red and gold. So it's got a really lush kind of, like that red jewel tone look. I'm looking to see if there's any beads missing. There are not any of the little jewels missing in there. Isn't that pretty? So yeah, I, I don't think I'll have any trouble selling this. Ooh, it's pretty. No, no, it's not, it's not me. <laughs> okay, okay, so this is turning out to be a nice jar. All right, cool. So then we've got this one that has these black beads, like so, and it's got this screw-in kind of barrel clasp. This one will probably end up in a lot because, because of that. The bead, I mean, there's like spacing, a spacing issue. Either the cord got stretched out or it just never had enough beads. It may have been homemade. That's cool. That's cool. All right, then, that's cute too. Come on, y'all, don't tangle up. We have these ones, just a kind of beady. You need that one when they do reseller says. There we go. That's cute. It's kind of like that pearly pink, that little baby pink beads. Yeah, okay. You are causing me major issues, necklace. Now you better be worth it, but probably not. You're not even a necklace. You were tangled up. I don't know if the mate's in here, but take a look at this. Get a load of this, guys. Look at this earring. Not a joke. I thought this was like part of a... A necklace, right? Right? Not even. It's an earring. Oh my gosh. <sighs> what? Okay. I hope the mate's here because seriously, this is crazy. Look at that. Hey, Ryan, I think I found myself a new style of earring. Uh oh, let's see. <laughs> I was right. What do you think? He's coming. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if the mate's in here or not, but... See, that's uh, mm. pretty uh, crazy. Imagine, imagine two of those oh my gosh. bad boys. You're ready to take over the world in those earrings. That's a weapon, Sarah says. <laughs> for sure. For sure. Oh, I don't know if the Secret Service would let you pass with those earrings on. Nope. That's nuts. <laughs> I'm just thinking, who is... The, this is my thing. I like to imagine the woman that's like, ooh... Oh yeah, this looks good. Hey, hey Jenny, look at these earrings. How do they look? Tell me, be, uh, be honest, be honest. They look really good. You can pull, not everybody could pull those earrings off. You could pull those off, girl. <laughs> okay, next up, we've got this one. And I, oh yeah, okay, so here we've got this one. This. Is, Again, so this is kind of interesting. I mean, I've seen like the necklaces that have that kind of Y. This has got a really long Y, which is almost, okay, apologies. <laughs> apologies if you are liking this jewelry or you're a dancer. Because to me, this is very erotic. Like it looks like so, but then this little bit like trails down into what I like to call no man's land. But don't ask my husband because he doesn't like it to be called no man's land. Anyway, moving on, moving on. So, yeah, we'll just put that over there. Tom, oh my gosh. Hey, you're mighty late. <laughs> that would take a strong woman. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Runway. There we go. That's a keyword. <laughs> oh, boy. Sometimes you got to catch it live. Some of the comments I just can't read out. I just can't. <laughs> okay, this, I'm not quite sure what to make of it. Uh, do you have a video on how you store your jewelry? I do, well, do I? I might. I, if not, I can do that because I have little, I have, I have a way, I have a system. 
But I'm so glad you're here, Tom. I know it's 2 a.m. Okay, so here's this. It's like a stretchy thing, which at first I thought was a headband. Maybe it is. But it's got this metal piece here. It says stars on one side and indivisible on the other, Tom. <laughs> Tom says that this necklace is called a <laughs> I'm quoting you. He said it's called a pathway to heaven. <laughs> Can I use that in my keywords? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Moving on. If it wasn't you. <laughs> okay. It's a winter warning for my town. Okay, this is a really long necklace or a really small belt. You're missing Groucho. I can move Groucho in here. We can do it. Yeah. <laughs> I can find a place for Groucho. I love Groucho. If you're new here and you're wondering, in my in my workroom, I have a desk that I sit in front of that has my Groucho Marx doll on it. Okay, then we've got an ID bracelet. It says Jim. You can see that? Jim, like so. Uh, keyword for that. So, okay, for sure. Hey, Alexandria. Hello, hello. Uh, I'm trying to read the back. It looks like it says, it looks like it says Sterling on here, but I'm going to take a quick peek. It is tarnished, so that's, that's a good sign. Let's see. Um, Elko, I think is what it, I'm looking, I'm going to pull my hoop out. It's cute. Sterling, I think it's, it's showing maybe Sterling. I'm going to pull out my loop and see. If you guys, guys didn't catch Thelma earlier, she had a good haul, so go check that out. It says Elko Sterling, and then it's, oh, okay, it's, um, uh, oh, nice. It says All Our Love Forever, and then there's a date, 12-25-66. So this is a vintage ID bracelet. And it looks like, or it appears that it is sterling. Let me grab my magnet too, just in case. You do well with ID bracelets, Thelma says, cool. Because yeah, I mean, some of them are, you know, they look pretty standard, right? The Because they were kind of popular in the 80s too, right? But yeah, nice. Thanks, okay. <laughs> Thanks, Jim. <laughs> Thanks, Thelma. <laughs> okay, cool, yay, okay. Put that to the side. All right. I'm, and almost the, the jar almost slipped from my lap. Okay, I'm detangling one second. It's not a major tangle, but maybe I'll just not. Okay. Oh, got it. All right, first up, we have this one, Forever 21, and it's just a gold chain with a rectangle. Original price, $4.90. I'm guessing there's something missing because it says gold and ivory. So, oh well, that's cool. Let's see. Your husband lost his ID bracelet. Oh no. Lady Reese, a terror barrier. Okay, cool, I'll check. Uh, you like to go through, yes, Gabby. I, I, Thelma and I have gone out a couple times with a couple groups. We haven't done a, a reseller hangout in a while. Okay. Um, this is a really cool one. It's got this moon, like crescent shape, and then there's this dangly other moon. I don't know what to make of that, but okay. Um, hang on, there we go. So it dangles like so in there. That's different. And then, okay, I'm gonna mute this. I'm muting it. There, okay. I know Joe's not watching me, but he's definitely texting me. Okay, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> All right, and so that is magnetic, but it's still cool. I still really think that'll sell. Yeah. Okay, then next up, we have got a maple leaf. It looks like it's pressed in some kind of clay on a cord, so that'll probably end up in a lot. And then these are the earrings that I saw the backings on. Here we go. Wait for it. I think you'll be able to tell pretty quickly whether or not they're really gold. But here we go. Gold posts. And I was like, yay, gold posts on the earrings. Here's the front. Fashion design. 
like so. <laughs> and they have these kind of like, oh, my brain just left. That brown stone, yeah. Uh, what's the thrift store's reason for putting in a jar and not selling separately? Um, I think sometimes they get so much, so they just throw it in a jar. Hang on, I'm hearing a kid fussing. Uh-oh, they're fussing. Okay, I don't know. So there's this, this spring was inside this earring somehow, but it just pulled out, and there's that. Hang on, are you okay? Okay, I guess they're okay. Anyway, all right, I'm putting some earrings over to the side. Okay, good, these ones are hooked together. Like so, yeah. Oh, uh, Jenny says they don't do jars there in Central Florida. Okay, this is cute. This is unusual. Okay. Okay, so we've got a little charm bracelet, which I get. It's a charm bracelet, right? Um, but it's got like these Asian kind of like inspired coins on it. And it also has a peanut. So it's got like little bells and like kind of an Asian motif. Peanut and Asian motif. I don't even know why. I mean, maybe there's a peanut. <laughs> uh, I don't know. So, yeah. Well, we'll find out. I, I'm not sure. Yeah. No. Give me one second. Sorry, guys. One. Just give me one second. Okay, um, this one? Okay, so this one, check the charm closely. Which one were you talking about, Tom? Tell me later, tell me later. Because this one, I don't know. Okay, it's not magnetic. I just checked the magneticity on that one. So there, I'll put that to the side. Okay, then we've got this kind of black beady one. Peanuts are good luck. Okay, but <clears throat> okay. I just didn't know they had, I don't know. I was thinking it was a southern thing. <laughs> Maybe it's just my ignorance. Okay, then we've got some cool beads, kind of like Murano glass type beads. Thanks, Sherry. She's saying thumbs up, everybody. We've got some bangles. This one. Mm, just like kind of, yeah. No. Okay, oh, more beads, yay. So, we've got some more kind of glass style Murano type beads. These are kind of like those that they, similar-ish to what they sell like for Pandora type bracelets. Uh, let's see. They look like, they look hollow made. That's how you make gold charms to save weight. Oh, okay, Tom, I'll double check those. I'll double check them. Hey, Wade. All right, then we've got, some more of those and they just fell, so it's all good. Then a little teeny, tiny, tiny beaded bracelet. That's cute. And it's got like this kind of knot closure on it. Hey, are you banging on that ball? Oh, it's the washing machine, okay. All right, it's good to know someone's doing the washing around here. Cause it's not me. Okay, then more of these. So, can you sell me the beads on the car? Yeah, send me a message, absolutely. I'll stick them to the side for you so I don't like, here's the thing, I have no problem selling stuff from the jars at all, but sometimes I lose stuff if I don't find out. I can make curtains out of all those bangles. Could you really, Thelma? Let me know, I've got tons of them. I could save them and put them to the side for you. Oh boy. Okay, this little bracelet. Hang on, no, magnetic, like so. <clears throat> yeah, I can stick them to the side, Thelma. I have a ton of them. Okay, then these earrings are kind of cool. These almost look like me. I'm finding a lot of me stuff in here. They look like little shooting stars, like so. I keep finding earrings that I, that I would like. Okay, so here's that. That look like something I would like. Okay, these are going to the side. 
I don't even need to test if they're silver or not. <laughs> they look like shooting stars, so I like them. All right, more of these bangles um, that I will stick to the side. Because Selma wants them. <laughs> Too many bangles, she's joking. Oh no, it's now a white elephant. From now on, everybody send your bangles. <laughs> everybody send your bangles to Thelma. <laughs> she needs them all for her curtains. <laughs> okay. Then, oh, this one looks like silver too. Look, that part looks, um, they're shooting star earrings. Oh, thank you, Kayla. Yeah, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna hang on to those. So it looks like almost like a tarnished silver, but then this part, not so much. But there is a tag, a little hang tag, which I can't read because it's tiny. And I think it says pub lane. Okay, yeah, you had me too. I'm so gullible. I mean, okay, at, okay, the guys on Merch Talk, Joe and Jeff and them, Joe gets me every time because he can do his straight face for everything. I'm so gullible. Oh my gosh. I probably shouldn't admit that out loud. This says, I can't, I still can't read that. Oh, Park Lane. I don't know Park Lane. So this is a little bracelet marked Park Lane. Okay, cool. I'm going to stick it to the side. How many jewelry jars have you? How many jewelry jars have you, you sell? No gold or silver yet. <laughs> Okay, okay. Um, again, some more bracelets for Thelma. <laughs> and some more. <laughs> then, ooh, I know who would have had this earring. This is another big one. Park Lane is 80s. My mother sold it like Sarah come to. Oh, cool, cool, cool. What? Apparently. Oh, gosh, Tom. I know that one. Okay. Okay, another big earring, like so. I'm gonna go look it up, Tom. A piece is apparently gullible, not in the Oxford English Dictionary. <sighs> Parkland, okay, I'm gonna pull some more out of the jar. We still haven't gotten to that orchid pin, or orchid, whatever it was, which is the reason that I was like, cool, I'm gonna get this jar. Do you store your jewelry in plastic bags after listening? I don't. I don't. I have little drawers, like tool type drawers. Hang on, I'm trying to get this out. And it's not cooperating. I don't want to break anything. What's the hold up in here? What is the problem? Oh, you are the problem. Okay, there we go. Okay, next, we've got this. Hang on. Detangling. An average jewelry, what's the percent of IVS? Um, I'm trying to think, what's the percentage that, I mean, I guess I've never really done that kind of numbers on my jars. Hang on, okay, there we go. This earring was like tangled up and causing me issues. I'm trying to separate a few things and Hi. What? Oh dear. You gotta go to bed, honey. I'll be there in a second. It's all good. Oh, I've got a mess. Look. Uh. No, Tom, you're doing great. He says he's gate crashing. No, no, no. You're my friend. I'm having an issue with something. Sorry. Here we go. How long will it take me to list it all? Mm, years, if I'm being honest. A long time. Okay, 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 I got it, I got it, finally. So, this was one of the reasons I got the jar, because I saw this in there. And I know people that like orchids, spend money on orchids. I'm trying to see what that green is in there. You see the green in there? So it's got this piece, and then on the back, it's a brooch, and it has this kind of like, kind of rustic S-hook 
on it. Do I really think it's old? I don't know. I think I see a mark in there. I'm going to go in. I'm going in. Here we go. Uh, I have to open it. Hang on. I can't read what it says. I think it's just a number, though. It looks like, yeah, it's a number. 0 0.900. What do we think? 0 0.900. Let me see if I can get it up where you can see it. Tom, you were you were a jeweler, or you went to you studied jewelry rather. Okay, can you see that? I don't know if I can get it where you can see it. It's super reflective. Right in there. I'm gonna have to take a picture of it. Looks like a mini stone. Okay, let's look at the green. And it does. It's like a chip. It looks like a little like chip of something. This, I mean, I don't know. Thoughts? If I get up real close in there, you can kind of see that the green is some kind of, it looks like an unpolished stone, like a chip of a stone or something. Um, how much does it rain? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what it says, Tom. 0 0.900. That's not, the, that's not like gold content, is it? Is it? Yeah. Okay. So there's that. Yeah, 0 0.900. So I'm going to set this to the side. Oh, it's silver. Oh, do you think it's got like a gold wash over it? I mean, because it does have some tarnish on the back. Do you think it's like a Vermeil type thing? Okay, we'll set that to the side. Um, if you follow me on Instagram or Facebook, I'll share a picture of a close-up. Vermeil is like, like a gold wash over stuff. Or Asian gold is 90%. 90% silver, 90, Asian gold is 90%, Tom says. I will look it up and, and find out. It's really hammered thin, I will just say. It's super, super thin. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's not magnetic. Possibly Vermeil, yeah. But I don't see any spot where it's like rubbed off. That's the only thing. Normally, especially when it's older, like sometimes you'll see like spots where the gold fin like finish is rubbed off of it. I don't know. We'll figure it out. And it sounds kind of tinny, okay? I don't know if you can hear that. I don't know. I don't know if that means anything or not, but eh. Okay, cute green bracelet. And a messy tangle of mess. Let's put that to the side. And uh, I'm gonna. So here's an ear, uh, or rather a brace. No, not this. That's got a big purple knot of beads that somebody would love, but it's not me. Give me just a minute, honey baby. Hang on, one minute. Because they haven't seen me all day. Yeah. Um, 100% that's made of precious metal. It's not so. Oh, thanks, Tom. Yeah, that, I mean, that's the thing. Like, because orchid people are nuts for orchids. And so that's an orchid. So, yeah. All right. <laughs> okay, next up. A lot of your vermeil isn't rubbed off. Okay. I wasn't asking the same word. Oh, okay, okay. Sorry, Princess Casserole. I should have known. Okay, so there's this one. I know you know your stuff. I should have known better. This looks like an earring that has really been misshapen. And then we've got, ooh. Okay, jewelry group represent. I've got some more pearl work to do in our group. We've been working on pearls. This one has got, let's see the hook. All right, here's the hook for it. Here's the pearls up close. So far, we've just been, I've been, we, I've been sharing links. Cindy's been doing some live streams in the, in the group. But these, I'm going to put this in my pile of, here's what I like about them. They are tied in between. They're knotted. 
and they're kind of different shapes. So, <laughs> night Tom. <laughs> I'm gonna text you in an hour and wake you up. <laughs> All right, not not really. I'm just teasing. Um, <laughs> so I'm gonna stick those to the side because I need to look at them closer because we are working on pearls and identifying pearls in the jewelry group and stuff. Okay, then there's this big mamma jamma. Trying to figure out where the end of this thing is. Where does it start and where does it end? Woo! Here we go. So here is this big, again, tangled mess of necklace. But I think it, somebody, somebody, I'm just, I like to think about who would wear it. Somebody is like, oh yes, I need this. Where? Where would we wear this? Um, no, I'm, I'm drawing a blank. Jury duty? Is this a good jury duty necklace? Here's my thinking. I would wear this to jury duty because I think that they would not want to keep listening to this, right? And so if I was just like constantly messing with my beads, they were like, juror number three, you're dismissed, right? Yeah. Get that necklace off or I'll be in your contempt, right? Sorry, judge. Yeah. <laughs> to the office and white blouse and jeans. There we go. Uh, yeah, we still got a little bit jury duty. <laughs> um, I I normally would feel them, but here's the thing. I just yanked them out of this nasty jewelry jar. Here's my fingers. And I don't really want to put that in my mouth. So I'll wait till I clean them up a bit. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so there's this really cute bracelet, but it's on this kind of like chippy cord. Um, then we've got some more earrings. I'm setting ear. I think I saw this earring in the other jar, honestly. And if so, I will sell that. So I'm sticking earrings to the side. I've got a really cute one here. I like that one. And this one's cute. Hang on, where's the back of it? Oh, my fingers look nasty. But this one has got like a swallow. Oh, you can barely see that, can you? They're all bunched up. Let me see if I can separate them. We've got this one that kind of looks like that Sabino glass. Then we've got a little leaf or calla lily. Maybe it's a leaf. And then this. Does it go on there? Some of these don't look like they match. Maybe. Maybe they all went on there. And then this swallow. That one looks really cool. Like I would like that by itself. Personally. Okay, we'll just we'll just put it to the side. Um 80s jewelry is in right now. Oh cool. Okay, that's good to know. I feel like I skipped some of these. Did I get that? Maybe it got tangled up with the rest. I don't know if I did that one. That's okay. Some things got pushed to the side. Um, we've got an anklet here. If I can get these things detangled. This kind of anklet. Never store pearl sealed in plastic, Deb says. Okay, that's good to know. Then, ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, we got the mate to that earring. Woo, thank goodness, right? And then this cool ear, um, necklace, rather. This is a really cool kind of boho necklace. It's got these spearheads almost, feather spearhead kind of dangles on it. That's cool. And it's on this brown leather strap. Oh, I really like that. I mean, it's totally not my style, but if I were like into that hippie boho style, that would be my style, <laughs> but it's not. Okay, almost done. I'm gonna dump the last bit of it, and then that'll be it for our jar. So we have, it's a bracelet. It looks almost like a watch band, right? And it says China on the back of the clasp. So that's cool. I mean, it's neat. It's definitely vintage. So, like so. Cool. Then another one of these kind of like cord adjustable bracelets. Here's a Hitachi pin, just in case. Hitachi, inspire the next. Now, I have sold pins, so I'll have to look it up. Oh, 
I think I saw this earring in another one of the jars that I got. And we have a bangle. What happened with the bendy necklace, Margaret? I've got a, the, the one I did the video on? The, uh, Cause that was a listing one. I had to put the, I made the video for the listing. Okay, we've got this bracelet that has a locket on it. The locket looks kind of mangy, honestly. Look. Like, there used to be something on the cover of it, but it got ripped off. So, it looks like, do you ever get your nails done? Like, like I did, I would get my nails done, and then you, like, rip the nail off. Kind of looks like that underneath. Um, do I recycle? Yeah, either I recycle the jars, or I redonate them. One or the other. Okay, then, I'm saving something cool down here. We got this. Which would drive me nuts. Um, yeah, the one I did the video on, Deb, it's a it's a listing. I just wanted to be able to show if somebody was looking at it to buy it, that it um does all that. She keeps my breaking grease in it. Okay, so this one's kind of cool. It's broken for sure. It's oh, it's got something written on it. What does it say? Oh, I just broke it some more. But this is the little tag on it's marked. On the back side, it's marked 925. Let me flip it around so you can see. This side, marked 925. This side, i got to get my loop. It's teeny. It's marked, it's marked Tiffany & Co. on that side. I mean, so we'll just set that there. And then I'm going to see what, what is engraved on the front here. So I'm gonna rub it because it's tarnished. So I'm just gonna kind of rub. You can see that shine coming back into it. You see the shine coming back? Hello, shiny. Yuck, finger. So I'm rub, rub, rubbing the front so I can see what was hidden underneath. It says Tiffany & Co. Uh, New York, 925. So what do we know? We know that Tiffany is really copied a lot, right? So that's something, <laughs> you think it's genuine, Thelma? Thelma says, well, I, I trust your judgment. I'm gonna look into it some more. There's a signature, you know, it says Tiffany and Co, something, and then nine to five. And then the chain part kind of popped off, so I'm gonna have to fix that. Usually they're more popular, prolific designs are counterfeited. Oh yeah, okay, that makes sense. I think I can't really tell what this says. Mm -mm, I can't tell. So I've got to see what that signature might be next to it. So yeah, I'm going to stick that to the side because that would be really cool. If it's genuine for sure. Yay! Elsa Peretti. It does, it does start, the second name starts with a P. I bet that's right. E L S Peretti. Yeah. Yeah, I bet that's right. Elsa Peretti. Is this something I should know? Okay, can you read it? Like so. And there's an, a dot over there, so maybe that's the dotted eye on the end. I'll have to look that up. But yeah, it was super tarnished. So that would be cool. I'm trying not to get too excited. She signs it I T E Peretti. Okay, I'll have to look at that. I'll look in a minute, I'll look in a minute. Okay, then look at this necklace, y'all. Okay, this is a Monet. It's marked Monet on the back. You can see that Monet. You saw the EP down, oh, cool, cool. Okay, but then look at the front, look how pretty. It's got this, I'll have to fix the chain part, but it's got a really nice weight to it. Like the weight on the chains. Are really cool. I know I'm trying not to get too excited though about the necklace, uh, about the bracelet rather. It's cool. It's cool. Play it cool. <laughs> Elsa is very important. Did bean necklace, but not sure if it's real. Hold on to it. Okay, we'll do. We'll do. Okay. Okay, so then this one, again, I'm gonna have to mess with the cords on it. But I really, really like this. So this is the pendant part, and then the cords are really weighty, if you know what I mean. Just Peretti's signature typo, sorry, okay. All right, so this necklace, I don't know if you can really see it, okay, like so. 
like that. It's really pretty, right? Classy. I don't know. I like it. Anyway, you can take it off. Okay, so there's that. It's nice, right? It's it's got that feel of like a nice piece. So that one will sell. And then I got a not Tiffany and Co. <laughs> bracelet. BFF, yo. So there's that. Um, where did my magnet go? I don't know where it went. I've kind of lost my mind now. I'm holding it together for that Tiffany and Co. And then this little bracelet, which I'm thinking is probably silver because of that piece right there. Let me pull out my magnet. I'm gonna look, oh, not my magnet, my magnet loop. So I can see the little markies there. It's a sterling. So that's cool, like a little sterling. It looks tiny, like a child's, little child's sterling chain bracelet. It's Monet. Uh, okay, so there. So not Tiffany, yeah. <laughs> this jar was $19.99. So I think it's safe to say that I will make my money back. And then there's that one. So cool, yay! Okay, I, miss, I think I'm misunderstanding a question there. So I, there's another um, earring here that I am hoping that the mate is in one of the other jars. It's kind of like this abalone, you can see on the back, kind of abalone shell. Um, the gold necklace you just showed looked a lot like a necklace you showed with the brown cord earlier. Oh, cool, 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 okay. Um, my magnet is here somewhere. Yeah, I know y'all are you're asking about my magnet. Okay, so that's the jar. I think we have gotten some good pieces. I'm excited about that. I'm going to go pick Tom's brain later. Maybe I'll just text him now because it's only, I don't know, almost 3 in the morning where he is. But I'm excited about this one. I'm going to dig a little deeper into that stone that's right in the center of this orchid. But I'm excited about that piece. That was why I bought the jar. And then... 19 a good part. I think so. As long as you see something in the jar, um, resale, uh, resale flips is asking $19.99 is good to buy for a jar. If it's a jar full of Mardi Gras beads, no. But if it's a jar where you see something that you're like, oh, okay, I can make my money back. I mean, so basically, you would have to see two things that you could sell for like 15 or 20 bucks so that you would recoup your money and then pay the fees back to kind of break even. And then I mean, like, for example, this Monet necklace, I'm just a guess because I haven't looked it up, but I'm guessing this one will probably sell for at least $20. So, I mean, there's that. And then when I, like I say, I saw this in here, and I know orchid people are nuts for orchids. So even if it was just, like, tin with a gold wash on it, I'd probably still sell it for 30 bucks. So and it, it'll probably go for more. Um, are you new to the jewelry thing? Where do you buy them? I This one I got at Goodwill, but I found them at Salvation Army. Sometimes I find them in bags, you know, um, like sealed up bags. Same thing, um, Salvation Army, thrift stores, that kind of thing. So there's that, yeah. And then I've been selling some um, jewelry, like mystery boxes on my Etsy store. That's cool. Um, I didn't show this one, but again, this is another one that I'm hoping the mate is in another jar because look at this glorious beast. Yeah, like so. This is this actually not too bad. I mean, it's huge, but I like the blue. Anyway, I don't know. You think I could pull it off? Imagine two of those. I might be able to. Yeah, maybe. Okay. <laughs> we'll see. I, I, like I said, I hope some of these earrings, I didn't find the mate for that one either. I'm really hoping the mate is in another jar. I would wear this. I would. I totally would. Okay. All right. So that's that. Um, Thank you guys so much for coming to hang out. I know it's a little later than what I normally do, but we've got a whole new world going on here with homeschooling and everything. So I have to kind of fit it in where I can. And so this is where I can tonight. So yeah, again, go over there and hit that thumbs up. We got 35, 36 over there, thumbs up. And I will talk to you guys tomorrow. It's Wednesday tomorrow. I need to talk to the guys and see if we're doing merch talk. I think we are. So I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Um, have a good evening. Bye, guys.